So we have a blank artboard, but we need to add artwork to it. So if I go up to the upper left hand side of the screen in here, you'll notice we are now have two tabs, one for our new Banner 01 document and the previously edited document called Poster Trek 01. Now I'm going to click on the tab for that file. It takes me back to the file as it was when we left it last. We're not going to take all of the artwork, so I'm going to hide the layer called Family. We need to unlock the other layer. So we need to unlock the parent layer called Hill. And then just make sure that the sky, hill and titles layer is visible. And then as one final step, you need to make sure that you go to the object menu and choose unlock all. That means unlock everything on the current artboard. And that's specifically referring to the child layers. So for example, and we obviously unlocked the parent layer in there called sky, but it did have previously a rectangle in there that was locked as well. So it's just making sure that all the child layers are unlocked. I'll click away to deselect because when you unlock something, it becomes selected inside of Illustrator. And then what we'll do is go to select and choose all on active artboard. And so that just grabs all the things that we need. It will not select anything that is hidden. And I'll go to edit and then choose copy. I'll then click back on the tab for our document. Notice one crucial element in here, and that is that the layers panel, as with all Illustrator files, it has just one layer in there and it's given a generic name of layer one. Now we've got all of our content organized in separate layers. To honor that, you can go to the panel flyout menu at the upper right hand side, the three lines, left click on there, and then turn on an option called paste remembers layers. Now, if that option is turned on, there'll be a tick on the left hand side of it. If I just go back in there and take a sneaky look, there you go, there's the tick. So that tick has to be turned on. I will go to edit and then choose paste. And you'll notice now that it pastes our artwork in to the document and it maintains it in the layers that it was stored in the previous file. Now we don't need layer one, so we can just click on that and then click and drag that down and onto the delete button at the bottom. With everything still selected, I will hover over any part of the artwork and drag it so it goes over to the far left hand side of the artboard and then just make sure by tapping the left cursor key just a couple of times and the down cursor key that it does extend beyond the edge of the artboard. And then I can click away to deselect. That's how we can transfer artwork from one document to another and also maintain the layer structure.